Welcome to coffee time, a very sleepy coffee time today because I woke up late <laughs> and I haven't had any coffee so far. So we're going to do something very simple today and that is not turn on the cameras before I press that button. Oops. Hey there, just a quick reminder. This is a recording of a stream I did on Twitch. If you like this and want more live content, come join the chat and the great community over on Twitch. I stream every week, Monday, Friday, and Sundays, or follow me on my socials for any changes or extra streams. Okay, thanks, and here's the video. Hey, there we go. We're gonna, um, we're just gonna do a French press or a cafetiere, as they like to call it. Um, because it's very simple and I can leave it and then I have lots of coffee. So that's what we're doing today. Um, obviously we are, uh, we have our Halloween decorations uh, strewn about the place. Um, there we go. Strewn. That's a good, good word, that. Like, like strewn. Whatever happened to Winston? Of course, we have a magic eight ball. That he said, check again later. We need to check if Bells is ever going to see Winston again. That camera has turned itself off. Shame on you. <laughs> I definitely charged you. Don't don't be doing this. Don't be doing this. Come on. There we go. So, will Bells ever see Winston the, the Newt ever again? The stars say no. So if you believe in the stars, they're saying no. Unfortunately, he's a he's a he's a free newt. He's you know he goes about his own business. He's got a wide world to explore. This camera is definitely just not playing ball. Let's see if I can plug it in. It doesn't like being plugged in and used. do that hello hello mr. camera you have a job to do this is literally the only day you do oh no that's a no then it doesn't like doing that <laughs> we're not gonna have a top-down camera today oops Oops, uh, that one? Nope. Uh, hold on, I need to find which camera it is. That one. There we go. It's tough, but I guess I'll have to let him go. Yes. Yeah, it was a short friendship. I mean, he'll he'll always remember you. He'll always remember you. I mean, the stars say no, but it doesn't mean it's it's set in stone. Darth, hello. Hello. How are we doing? How are we doing? You detected a touch of morning voice. That's because I'm extremely tired and only woke up half an hour ago, and I was late to the stream because I had to sleep, according to my body. Because I don't set an alarm on the weekend because I think that's madness. Why would you set an alarm on a weekend? Come on now. Unless you have to actually get up for something. Like something really important. I let my body just do its thing. Um, and apparently today its thing was sleep until midday. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh well. Right, we've got our beans roughly 30 five-ish grams. We're going to stick those in the grinder. Uh, let me just get the setting more up to what we want. About there. Get those in the grinder. And it's grind time. Apologies for the noise. Everyone's got morning voice today. Even though it's now the afternoon. It's grind time. Got to do a grind time dance. I'm just going to track my Amazon parcel. 
where is he? Everyone becomes a uh, parcel goblin whenever they've got something like important being delivered, right? That's that's something everyone does. They all just like, where are you? Where's the precious? <laughs> I bought this thing yesterday. Why isn't it here yet? <laughs> God, people could see us now, hey? People from 20 years ago, next day delivery. Sometimes they deliver it too fast as well. Sometimes Amazon say, yeah, it'll be here Monday. I'm like, cool, I'm in Monday. And then it arrives on Saturday when I'm out. Um, I'm just like, what the fuck? What the hell are you doing, Amazon? That's not what we agreed on. Right, there we go. Some coarse, coarsely ground coffee going in, going in. Oh, and over the top as well. Uh, let's get a little bit of a scale on the go. There we are. No, come on. Thank you. So, a little bit of a shake. Uh, with a French press, you just need to fill it up and then you leave it. French press, a cafetiere, is extremely easy. Extremely easy. You just want coarse ground coffee. You want some fairly hot water. You could give it a little bit of a bloom and let it, just let it get, get it get out of its system. But you just got to fill it up. Give it the beans. <laughs> right there we go. We've got about oh seven fifty grams. That's probably about right. I'm not I'm not too bothered about accuracy today. I just need a lot of coffee. Um, so we're going to leave that there. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the lid on, try and keep some of that heat in. Important thing, never fill it up to the top of the actual like lip because the um, filter, it needs like a half centimeter to properly get that pressure on. So you don't want grinds above the filter. Ours always comes at 7 p.m., never early. Oh, yeah, I've had one at like 10 p.m. It's like, oh, I'll be with you tomorrow at 10 p.m. I was like, what the, what? Just leave it till the next day. Let the, let the poor delivery driver have a day off, come on. It's not that important. How have we become, yeah, we have, we've become extremely um, entitled with our uh, next day delivery, haven't we? Spoiled with it. Um, like, if they offer it, and they say, yes, this will arrive tomorrow, and it doesn't, that's bad, because they've said it will. And also, if I'm I'm paying for Amazon Prime, and Amazon Prime used to mean guaranteed, you know, delivered when they say it will, which will be, like, tomorrow, or maybe the day after if you're late. But now it's like, oh, it's, it's a privileged, or uh, whatever delivery, or it's, you know, premium delivery, or something like that. It's like, okay, what's, what's that mean? Oh, well, it'll, it'll arrive before the other stuff arrives. <laughs> okay, cool, thanks. Um, and it's not because Amazon isn't selling it itself. It's all the marketplace stuff, isn't it? It's all the um, little sellers go through Amazon, so they don't really have control over a lot. Some, some of them, some of the delivery stuff. Some of them it is, it's in their warehouse. Some of them it's not. So that, that's mainly the reason why they can't always promise the next day. But still, it's kind of, kind of annoying when they say it will. <sighs> Thanks, COVID, everything literally gets left on, on the door now. Ah, uh, we have a little, um, we actually were gonna get one of those big delivery boxes. I need to put a timer on for this. So we wanted a three minute timer. I'm going to put a two minute timer because I've been talking for a little bit. Um, we got one of those, you know, delivery boxes where they stick it in the top and then it'll flap down and no one can get their arm in and steal it. We did want one of them, um, but because we work from home and we're always here, it doesn't really matter. Um, so we have a little plastic box that we can stick it in if it's raining. That's about it. Hidden, hidden away. Can I get annoyed when there's no next day delivery? Which is standard for most things. Yeah, okay. Um, I get annoyed when it's just, oh, it's just one type of delivery. I can't pay extra. I get, if I need it like 
sooner than later, then let me pay an extortionate amount of money, admittedly, like 10, 15 quid, to have it delivered two days early. Let me have that option. Don't just have a flat rate of, oh yeah, it'll appear in some time in the next 30 days. <laughs> Those are the ones that are really annoying me. <clears throat> That's mainly China. Things coming from China, I think, though. Your postal system uh, treating your workers badly, so no one wants to work for them. Fair enough. Our postal system isn't, uh, wasn't doing too great. So I think it's not too bad right now. I don't think they in embraced... Uh, <clears throat> the um, like say the, the like online delivery stuff and, and whatnot as much as the others so they, they kind of suffered for a while but anyway my package is on the way out for delivery there we go so what we're going to do after the uh, three minutes are up we're going to stop Give it a little bit of a stir at the top, but not too vigorous and not too um, not too light. We want what we want. So you can see at the moment, hopefully, I don't know if you can see that. You can see the grinds at the yeah, you can kind of see that. Um, you can see right here, all the grinds are floating right now, which means all this water is not really mixing with it. So what you need to do, take that off, grab yourself a spoon. And give it just a gentle and there's like a little crust on top which is now becoming like a little froth but give it like a little gentle stir just a little bit and you can see all that now is now mixing in and most of it's now filtered down to the bottom a lot of it's filtered down to the bottom but in doing so it's mixed in and it's getting nice and extracted the problem with the French press is people use it uh, because it's readily available. People use it uh, all the time and they, do, they use it wrong. You've got to give it time. You've got to let it rest. You've got to let, let it soak in. Because um, people put it in, they, could, they put the water on and then they see, oh, look, it's turned into coffee instantly. And it has like got the colour and all that. But you need to give it a bit of time. You need to give it a bit of time. I'm going to give it one more minute. Give it one more minute. Give it a bit of time. Let all those grinds really seep in and, and get their goodness out. Um, and doing that means it's not under extracted. It won't over extract too much. It's, it's kind of like the AeroPress where it's kind of hard to over extract because it's, there's only so much saturation you can get in the water. If you've got the ratios right, it should be fine. Um, and there you go. And all the plunger then does is, is just filter up the coffee. It's not actually making the water go through as much coffee because that will create channeling as well. If you're using the coffee, like if it was stuck at, still at the top, it would have the water would have to channel its way through it, which would lead to bad tastes, technically. So you just got to give it a bit of time. Let, let it do its thing. Let it do its thing. So that's one minute up, roughly. We just have a quick check. All looks good. And then we do a little, little plunge. There we go. We've got to make sure, you know, there's no kinks in that metal filter. Usually, especially cheap ones, they have a lot of kinks in the filter, which is how grinds tend to get past it. Uh, mine does have a kink somewhere, but I've sort of bent it in a way that should be fine. And you shouldn't have too much resistance because the coffee's at the bottom. And other important fact, don't get the um, filter all the way to the bottom. Mine luckily has a little stop, which stops it from hitting all the grind. But don't you don't need to like squeeze the grind. You don't need to do that. Because that's how you get stuff like filtering through the um, filter that shouldn't come through. Because it's uneven then. You just need to sit above it and stop them from coming out. You'll still get some sediment with this method. But with a metal filter, metal filters have larger holes than paper filters, you see. So that's why you get a bit more of the smaller particles coming through. And there you go, there's your nice, nice coffee. 
Give it a little sip. Oh, that's hot. But it's good. I'm gonna add some milk. And there we go. Oh, yes. Not my favorite method, and I don't think these beans are the best used in this method. Um, I think a pour over is probably a nicer, rounder flavor, but it makes do when you want fairly quick, lazy coffee. When you don't have anything, you know, you want to, because with, with the other methods, you have to interact with it a bit more. I'm way too tired. I thought this would do. There you go. Not bitter, not sour, not too strong. It's not too strong. Um, it's perfect. Nest Cafe Instant is quicker. It's not instant though, is it? Come on, it's not instant. It's not instant. It's false advertising right on the label right there. It's not instant. If it was instant, I'd look at the cup and it'd be there. But it's not. Got to boil the kettle, got to pour it in, got to give it a stir. God, so much effort. So much effort. <laughs> instant coffee. It's not instant. Um... <laughs> But yes, no instant coffee, especially the the like more the, the decent ones these days, are actually not bad. If if you, if that's your thing, I mean, it's just freeze dried. It's actual coffee that's freeze dried. They go through a standard coffee brewing method, and then they just freeze dry it and break it up. They stick it in a big freezer. Um. So it is, I mean, the flavors do get a little bit blur. So they, um, I think they do like tend to sweeten it a bit, but that's my opinion. Anyway, that's the end of coffee time. Um, quick one today, but we'll be back ooh, next week. Mm -hmm.